I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna dip it in this barbecue sauce bath. We'll put it back on here. We're gonna give it like uh, 10, 15 minutes. That one back here is ready. Hey everybody, Mike Chavez once again. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. All right, y'all, today we're going back to basics. We're gonna barbecue some chicken thighs. We're gonna barbecue them, smoke them out on the char griller Gravity 980. So the plan today, I'm gonna to set the cooker about 225. We'll put the chicken thighs out there. We're gonna let them come up to about 160 internal. Then we're gonna crank that heat on up to about uh, 300, 325, and we'll uh, get the skin crisp, and then we'll uh, get the internal temperature up to about 175, 180 degrees. Then we're gonna glaze them, put them back on there, let the glaze set, and these should be nice, juicy, and delicious. So this is gonna be really basic, y'all. So stand by, check it out, easy to do. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Like I said, my plan today is to keep this really simple. I'm gonna take these whole chicken thighs, I'm not gonna trim them, set them in this pan. So we got three, six, nine, 12 dozen chicken thighs. So we're not gonna eat these all at once. I'll probably uh, freeze some for later, have for lunch this week. And I might make a barbecue chicken pizza so what i got my spg like i said keeping it simple standard salt pepper garlic so let's turn these over bottom side first actually these got a little let's go ahead on second thought Let's get some of this excess fat, excess skin off the bottoms. Don't need all that. That's all we're gonna do though. So minimal trim. Now take our SPG. Get them seasoned up. inside want that salt to draw some of the moisture out that'll help with the skin so if you can see that this is some nice coarse pepper this is the same salt pepper garlic rub I used on my uh, turkey breast my Texas style turkey breast say so we're keeping this simple today all right, so we'll let these sit. We'll go get the cooker fired up. All right, y'all, let's get this thing fired up. So I got a little bit of charcoal left in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, take some applewood chunks. I got some nice chunks here. Got that big one. I think I'll save that one for the, for the uh, ash pan. So we got some nice chunks, applewood. I want these thighs to be nice and smoky. So I'm gonna put a good amount down there. Might as well kill this bag. There we go. All right, what are we looking like? I think I'll put it, uh, this bag has some flex in it. I'll put those down there. I wanna get a lot of smoke on this. There we go. Put charcoal on top of that. A little more blue kingsford. So. 
I'm gonna kill that bag. All right, let's fire it up. So let's get our tumbleweed in there. Get a little, little torch. Fire it up. Here we go. Pull our slide out. There we go. Hanging on the back. Give it about five minutes. Then we'll set the temp. All right, y'all, cookers have been running or lighting for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna close the top. Close the side gate. Now, let's fire this thing up. <clears throat> Power on. So we're gonna set this temp about 225 and set. Fans running. We're gonna close her down. Oh, back vents open all the way. So this is gonna take probably 10, 15 minutes for the onboard probe uh, to reach 225. <clears throat> Once that happens, I'm gonna let the whole cooker warm up. So this is a big, heavy, double wall cooker. So I want the inside to get nice and hot. All right, so we're gonna let give the metal a chance to warm up, and we'll bring the thighs out. All right, y'all, it ain't been five minutes, and the onboard probe has already reached 225. Like I said, I'm going to give this about 15, 20 minutes for the cooker itself to warm up before we bring the chicken out. All right, y'all. Smoke is rolling. Let's get these on here. So I don't need this probe. There we go. So let's get these on here. take my heat probe or my food probe I should say I'll go ahead and put it in one of these Let's see here so I'm looking for about 160 internal then we're gonna crank this heat on up. All right, y'all, for this finishing sauce, like I said, I'm gonna keep it simple. Got some sweet baby rays. So, in this pan, we're gonna put us some sweet baby rays. So, we don't want this all gloppy. On the chicken thighs and so we're going to take some uh, apple cider vinegar and thin it out so we don't want this real runny but we don't want it gloppy so 
So I've got this technique I'm watching Mad Scientist Barbecue. He did this with the chicken thighs. So I'm gonna try it. See what we got here. Still a little tip, little thicker than I want. So we'll put a little more vinegar in there. See, this way it won't glop all over to be, be in big globs on the on the chicken. Let's see. There we go. That looks pretty good. That's what I want right there. So we're just going to use this to finish finish the thighs off. And you'll see why I did it in this pan when we get to that point. So. <clears throat> Alrighty then. According to the app, we were, uh, reached 156 on that one chicken thigh. So let's uh, pop this open and check the temps on the rest of them. Cooker's still rolling at 225. So let's see what we got here, what we're looking like. Oh man, got some good color to them. Let's see what we got here, 160. All right, so what we're going to do here, I got some uh, duck fat, so I'm going to see if we can crisp this skin up some, spray them with some duck fat. So I'm going to kick this cooker up. To about 325 and we'll bring these thighs up to about uh, 150 on that big one 155 we'll bring these thighs up to about 175 and then we will sauce them. Alrighty then. So some of these thighs have reached over 170. Let's see. I believe these little ones. Let me get this uh, probe out of here for a second. So. Okay, looking good there. All right, we'll let them go for a little while longer here. But that one there has reached 170, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna dip it in this barbecue sauce bath. We'll put it back on here. We're gonna give it like uh, 10, 15 minutes. That one back here is ready.
All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and get these off. They're sauced. They should be ready. Oh yeah, they look good. We'll go ahead and sauce these last two. Give them about 10 minutes, we'll get those off. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try something. I got this brush, I'm gonna try it with some water. See how it does for cleaning them up. The great. Pretty good. Here we go, y'all. Basic barbecued chicken thighs. These ought to be nice and juicy. Let's check it out. All right, y'all. Had a little operator error. Uh, didn't have my microphone plugged in, but look at that chicken thigh right there, would you? That is a thing of beauty. Now, I left the dang chicken on there at too low a temperature for too long, so the skin didn't turn out too well. But we're going to try this out anyway, man. This looks good. Man, look at that. Beautiful. Looks good. You all ready? Taste! Look at the juice shoot out of that thing. Man, you talk about juicy. Look at that thing. Yum, yum, yum finger licking the skin come out just a little bit rubbery next time i do this i'm going to do it at a high temperature from the get-go but man the juice is just incredible the taste awesome man you can't ask for better than that if that skin got a little more crispy it would have been a much better but you know you chalk it up to experience i don't know everything but uh, next time, like I said, I'm going to put this at a higher temperature. But the chicken itself is awesome. Just so incredible. So y'all, mm, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and hit that button over there. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.